Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. And if you are new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. So, oh, today has been crazy. Okay, so I'm in my messy office. Just please ignore that. Um, so I got up this morning, got ready, was going to work. And I was about maybe 10 minutes away from work. And I got a phone call um, from one of the ladies who I work with. Her fiance works for us as well. He um, is a scheduler. So basically I was supposed to go to an install today and <clears throat> Mind you, I had like already rescheduled my orthodontist appointment for next week because this week was just crazy. I had to like push everything to tomorrow and Friday. So tomorrow would be Thursday and then um, Friday as well. And I had to like push everything to then because I was gonna have to go on this install. So installs are like obviously the projects that I work on. That's just when they're being built up and put together. So I had to go on this install because the sales rep is going out of town. The install gets canceled. So they all call me and they don't know what's going on. So I have to call the sales rep who is like literally on his way to the beach and be like, hey, what's going on? So it turns out the customer was happy, but they wanted to add more to the project and we can't move forward if they want to add more. So the whole install got canceled. So I literally have a whole day free and I have nothing to do until tomorrow and Friday. So I called back the orthodontist and I was like, can I come today? They were like, yeah. So I'm getting my braces today. So I'm excited, but I'm a little bit nervous because I just know it's gonna hurt, but it's okay. Um, I guess it's good like the way it worked out because I was already kind of disappointed I was gonna have to push my appointment to next week because I just wanna get this process started. Like I just wanna get my braces on, get the process of my teeth getting fixed started. This is the one. And so I'm really excited that I'm doing it today. I'm gonna head over to my mom's in like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna try and get some laundry done before then, but I'm not gonna bring you guys into the doctor's office just cause I think that's like weird, but I'm gonna like, we'll see what I can film, but I'll definitely show you guys after. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my teeth fixed. Yay. Okay guys, so my mom just got out of the, I guess I could put the car in park. She is actually going into Kinko's right now or FedEx or whatever because she has to drop off a package and this one's kind of slow. So I figured I'd update you. I got my braces. Um, I'm in a little bit of discomfort. I, I wouldn't have done full makeup today had I known that like I was going to go be getting braces because obviously I know they're going to have their hands in my mouth. They said it could be four to six months and I was like... Okay, but I was only told four, so after four, I'm gonna start throwing temper tantrums until they take them off. They're not that bad, um, especially because they're different than the ones that I had before, as that even makes any sense. The ones I had before were very little. They were like a new kind of braces. And so I feel like my lip gets caught on these a lot. And so it kind of like disguises them. I don't know, it's not that bad. When I smile, you can't really tell but when I'm talking, you can. So it's disgusting, I'm sorry. So I only have them from, I think they said my canines. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have them only on my front eight bottom teeth because it was just the front six teeth that I wanted fixed. So I don't know, I'm feeling positive about it. It's okay. I mean, I'm not excited, but I'm, I'm excited if that makes sense like i'm not happy i have braces but i'm so happy that this process has started okay let's see oh crap hi friends so i am on my lunch break right now um i am on day two of braces i've had them for about a full 24 hours now and i've yet to have any pain in my mouth it's kind of confusing because i remember last time i was in so much pain and they told me like chew gum it will help um, with the uh, pain if you have any and so I did that yesterday like starting out I literally got in the car from the orthodontist and put gum in my mouth so I don't know if that helped um, but I haven't had any pain I've just been very annoyed because I have this bumper in my mouth and they put it on top of one of the braces so I couldn't shoot, like bite down and mess up my teeth and I haven't been able to close my jaw in 24 hours like completely it's it's just enough but like not completely and it's making me nuts but it's okay I'm getting straight teeth and that's all that's worth it um oh my god my eyebrows look insane I used a little bit of my ABH brow pomade today 
in hopes to get rid of it because I've been using the e.l.f. one and then I was like, oh crap, I don't want this to dry out because it's expensive. Well then, can I come in? Stay open. Well then it, um, it of course is like super dark. It's super dark. So I'm on my lunch break now. I'm gonna about to go get some Zaxby's. I am going to do a what I eat in a day video very soon, but I wanted to share my favorite Zaxby salad. I don't think I've ever shared it with you guys before. It is so good. I'm trying to like eat a little bit healthier. And although it's like the fried chicken, it's a salad. So it makes me feel okay. <laughs> it's so good. So I'll catch you guys in a minute, but I gotta figure out how this, where this thing is. Like I have a meeting at one. Why I gotta dag him go? What just beeped? Okay. Zaxby's near me. I love Zaxby's. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for my salad. I cannot wait. I like crave these salads. They're so good. Like. I like Chick-fil-A salads, but if you if you want a good like salad from a restaurant, like a fast food restaurant, you you go to Zaxby's. And also they have a light ranch. So I'm gonna get light ranch and then a water because um, I really want a Diet Coke, but I can't have soda with my braces, and that's good because I need to get out of drinking soda. Like I used to be so good about not drinking soda, and then I got on a Diet Coke kick. So I'm gonna do water and then light ranch. Healthy! This lady in front of us must be ordering enough for an army. It's taken her forever. No, thank you. Um, can I just get the fried house salad with light ranch and an ice water? Fried house, light ranch, and water, and That's it. Thank you. Okay, so eight dollars for the most delicious like thing ever. Oh man, I love your Jeep. Oh dude, you have the best Jeep. It's so nice. It's lifted, it's got lights. You go man. Hi there. Are you doing okay? I am. Are you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh my god, she totally saw my. She 100%. Saw the camera. She like looked at it. Was like, what the heck? I don't ever want people to think that like I'm filming them without their permission or like what I hold on or what I used to think when I was like working in a restaurant. Like if you see somebody with a camera, you would automatically be like, okay, that person is from corporate, and I don't want people to think that. So I'm gonna stop driving and vlogging and just fill you guys in that this salad is the best salad in the world. Hey friends, so it's been a while since we checked in and I told you guys I was trying to eat healthy. It's just a rough day. I'm just so stressed out with work and everything. So, this red velvet cake has my name on it and I'm not even sorry. I haven't had a piece of this in like three days. That's not true. It's only been, it was only made like two days ago and I had one piece. That was worth it. It's amazing how much better your day can get when you have cake. I really don't need to be eating this before dinner, but we're making fajitas tonight and I'm gonna bring you guys along. I don't even know how. I think Sam made the fajitas last time. Yeah, Sam made the fajitas last time, but I'm so excited. I got like refried beans yesterday and they're fat-free refried beans that may smell a little bit better. So, fat-free refried beans, Mexican rice, and then we have peppers, ground beef. I'm really excited about it. 
Oh, this looks so good. So, I'm vlogging dinner. They asked that I start sharing more like food, meal, grocery stuff. Yum. Suzu. What are you thinking for uh, these refried beans? How in the world am I supposed to like make those? I've never made them before. Probably on the thing, I would imagine. Cause I've never made them. It says, oh, oh, that's the deal. I was like, I have none of these things. <laughs> Cook beans in saucepan on medium low heat until heated thoroughly. Yeah. I think we need to heat, put them in there on the second bowl. Yes, 100%. I don't think that would be good. That's not and then, do you want this or no? That's up to you. Depends on how hungry. I'm not that hungry. I don't think I'm this hungry. Like I'm, I'm this hungry, but I'm not. That's why I was saying that's a lot of meat, because I think I'm only going to eat like one of them. Oh my God, Sam! That's so much butter! Oh. Babe! So this is what we have. Yum. Which one was that? Just that's just steak seasoning. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cause I can't run with you because you're Mr. You like you wanted no oh, I'm fat and mm, you're very clearly still like collegiate body like you can still outrun most normal in shape human beings oh my gosh this smells so good we were running today and he he had to stop and like try to walk a few times and i wouldn't really let him Same. i made him keep jogging that's what i am the difference is when i told him to start jogging and he would start jogging he wouldn't just fuss you sprint. I don't care what, like you sprint and it is miserable. You were talking? I was talking to him. He About was trying. What? Just, You're a talker? Just anything. Ew, when I was young, I used to try to talk to my mom when she would work out and she was like, Mariah. And now that I'm older, I'm like, don't talk to me. Well, the whole point. Work it out. The whole point in talking while you're running is once you start being able to run distance and talk at the same time, it builds up your lung capacity and your endurance. Like. Yeah, I don't, I don't need lung capacity that bad. Well, see, I would see it as like a social thing. It's less boring. No, no, that's definitely not why. I was like Connor and I talked our entire run yesterday. Did you? Yeah. That's what we used to talk when we were like running speed you guys workouts talk when at you practice. Run? At practice, when we were running like 200 meter speed runs, we would, all of us would just like talk. Not like having a full blown conversation, but we would talk about whatever's going on. Yeah, I, my mind is blown. I can barely mutter out the words like "stop" when I'm running. Like I'll be dead. Well, I really wish I wouldn't have opened that other can. Well, that's part of it. Once but you I already know. opened it. Can I put it in something else? Probably not. Well, uh, like I could put it in a container. And what does it say on the can about refrigerate after opening or whatever? Because you could put it in a refrigerate after opening. Mm -hmm. It helps your breathing if you. <laughs> Does. Helps your breathing because it takes it away. No, it helps your breathing because when you when you run, your heart and your body has a natural way of aligning itself to whatever your dominant foot is. So you breathe out and in on a rhythm, and that's what causes cramps because it's over, it's working one side of your diaphragm more than the other, and that's what causes you to cramp and get a stitch. When you talk, you don't have that natural rhythm because you're talking as many words as you're trying to get out is how fast you're talking. Therefore, that's how fast you need to take the breath in. So whatever you're saying messes up your rhythm. And your this pattern. is like fascinating to learn. I never knew that. I'm so excited to refried beans with my braces. Um, well, that's what the. You're Should I put on. milk or something? I'm gonna put milk. No, you're not putting milk. In there. And then heat it up. Do you see how disgusting it is? Maybe you can put milk and stuff and heat it up. Water. I would put water in that. Heat it up. 
Okay. There's like obviously a lot of milk in the kitchens at Mexican restaurants. Especially definitely not in that way. Holy fuck. Oh my god! 